Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by uh, Chief John Batiste. Uh, Chief, welcome. Thank you. Thank Good to be here. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Now, uh, you, you're talking about something called uh, TweetSmart. Fill us in. What's TweetSmart? Well, TweetSmart is uh, our intelligent way of interacting with the uh, media as well as uh, people within the community. Uh, we're asking people to uh, be considerate uh, and uh, mindful of the fact when we're tweeting information between one another, uh, we don't want to give out certain information should we have an active shooter situation or sure. a very dangerous uh, situation that's rapidly occurring. Uh, we don't want to give out officers locations uh, and that sort of information which could lead to a danger to the officers as well as to the citizens. So what are some of the kind of straightforward do's and don'ts that you would kind of want folks to consider? Well, the primary one is if we have a, uh, a live situation where we're responding to or we're on scene and we're trying to assess the situation, we don't want the officer's location given out uh, publicly. Right. It poses a danger to the officers. It could pose a danger to the citizens. Uh, but the officers need to have that element uh, of surprise and containment in terms of information in order to ensure that they're operating as safely as they can for themselves and everyone involved. It's important to remember that bad guys have a way of listening in on social media as well. And if they were to have the location of the officers, uh, they, they pose a great danger to the officer. But, but I know uh, police departments uh, such as yourselves make great use of uh, Twitter, don't you? Tell us a little Tremendous. bit about how you do that. Well, Twitter has uh, you know, become a, a thing of uh, interest for law enforcement. It has now for a few years. And we're beginning to use it more and more to our strategic advantage as well as that of the media. The media is short on resources, so it's a, it's a means whereby we can give them uh, uh, instant information about what's happening. Uh, it could be uh, emergent situation or it could be just informational uh, type of information that we're wanting to share. Uh, it's a great tool. It's a tool that we're, we're, we're still learning and getting used to, but it's uh, beginning to serve everyone's needs well. It seems to me that uh, you know, we live in a world where everybody is bombarding us all the time with yes. uh, kind of communications of, of uh, all sorts. But the, the critical issue here is trust. That's correct. Is, isn't it? And, and you, don't, uh, you don't build trust within a community overnight. Do you? Absolutely not. Uh, as an example for us, uh, we were involved in an officer-involved shooting. And uh, we communicated entirely with the media without them ever showing up to the scene of the shooting by way of Twitter. Uh, their needs were met and uh, it made it very convenient for our officer to be able to get out uh, information very quickly to as many media sources as possible. So it was an advantage to, uh, to everyone involved. Well, Chief, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you. Really appreciate it and best of luck with the initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Good sir. to be here. Thank you.